Wonderful people of Fuki Academy. I believe you're all doing well. And then I've missed you guys. Now this morning, you're all welcome to a new topic. You're coming to treat a new topic. Now our subject for today is mathematics. Mathematics, so let me write it on the board for you. We are going to learn maths, maths. Now under the maths, we are going to learn addition of numbers, addition of numbers. So let me write it on the board. Addition of numbers. Now, before I go, before I go into details of this topic, now let's remind ourselves about what we learned. Before we went for the lockdown, we were learning about ships, ships, and then we 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 had a song that you always sing, that quarter fall to me like a flower, oval to me like an egg, circle and square. Rectangle and triangle, semicircle, diamond. And then we said the five sided figure is a pentagon. So let me write a pentagon for you. Pentagon. And then we said six. The six sided figure is a hexagon. So hexagon for you. Hexagon. The seven-sided figure is a heptagon. So this is heptagon for you. Heptagon. The eight-sided figure is octagon. So eight is octagon. Octagon. The nine-sided figure is a nonagon. So this is nine. And it is nonagon. Very good. Very good. And the ten-sided figure is a decagon. So this is decagon for you. Decagon. And this is how I will learn my ships. And this is how I will learn my ship. Very good. I hope you are enjoying the lesson. Very good. Now, this is what we learned before the lockdown. So I've revised you on it. But today's own is a different topic altogether. Today we are going to learn addition of numbers. Let me explain addition for you. When we say addition, addition means put together. Say it and let me hear. Put together. Very good. Now, you see this sign or this symbol? This symbol is plus. This symbol is plus. And this symbol is equals. Equals. This symbol is equals. Very good, guys. Now let's get into it. Let me give you examples and let's try our hands on it. And I hope you'll be trying your hands on it at home. Now I have my donuts, one donut. And here I have three donuts. And here I have one plus three equals. Now this, I am going to solve it. Okay, now I have one donut here. This is a group one. I also have three donuts here. This is group two. So I'm going to put group one and group two together and see the results I'll get. Okay, so guys, let's count it. One, two, three, and four. Very good. Now let's, this is one and this is three. So when you put one plus three, the results will give you Four. Very good, guys. I hope you are doing it at home. Now, let's try our hands on another one. I have two triangles, another three triangles. So here I have two plus three equals. Now, we are going to put this together. Remember, this is group one, and this is also group two. So we are going to put group one and group two together and see the results you will get. So now, let's go. Let's count it. We have one two three four and five okay so now we are going to write five here so we understand that two this group one which is two plus group two which is three when you put two plus three you get what five you get what five very good for saying it for me now let's try our hands on another one we have circle this is oval we have three ovals then we also have two ovals. 
Okay, let me add one to this one. We have four ovals here, two ovals here. Now we have four plus two equals. Now let's solve this one. Now don't forget, I said this is group one and this is also group two. So we are putting together. Addition means put together. So we are putting group A and group B together. Let's see what we get. So let's count this. Let's go. I hope you are counting it for me. One, uh-huh. Two, uh huh, three and four. Let's add this one to it. Five and six. So when we see four plus two, you get what? Six. Very good, guys. So this is six. I hope you are enjoying the lesson. Now let's try our hands on another one. Let's try our hands on it. Are you watching? Now this case is a different case together. We have square. Wait, let me draw it well for you. We have three squares here. Three squares here in a bracket. And then here in the bracket, we didn't see anything there. So let's say this is three plus, we don't know what is there, equals dash. There is nothing here. So how are we going to add it? Okay, guys, let's go. Let's count it. We have one, two, three. Mm, there is nothing there. What am I going to write? If there is nothing there, it means it is zero. It is what? Zero. Zero means nothing. Any bibia, it's nothing. So if we don't have anything here, that means three plus zero will give us what? The same number, which is what? Three. Do you understand? Or we should go over it again. Okay, let's go. Let me do it again, then you get the concept. We have three squares here. But here we don't have anything there. This is group A, group B. But group B, there is nothing there. Okay? So now we are going to count it. Let's go. One, two, and three. But here, there is nothing there. What am I going to write? Okay, don't worry. If there is nothing there, it means this place is what? Zero. Zero means nothing. She, nothing. Okay, so it means three is plus what? zero and three plus zero will give you the same number which is what three so three plus zero will give you what three clap for yourself well done well done good boy okay now let's go to the next the, the, the next one we have here group a there is nothing then we also have group b there is also nothing there e what am i going to write okay and then here we have zero plus zero equals zero plus zero here we learned that if there is nothing there it means it's zero and zero means she or nothing okay so if there is nothing here and it's zero plus zero what am i going to write mm, should i write two no 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 do not write two just write zero there is nothing there it's zero plus zero she plus three it will give you she do you understand Thanks, guys. Okay, now let try your hands on this at home for me, and let me see if you can do it. Now, this time around, we are going to use numbers. We are not going to use objects. Do you understand? So I have three plus two equals. How are we going to solve it? So we have three here, and then we also have two here equals. Okay, and to say that, if I want to solve it, I have to draw something or I should use strokes. So now we are, we are going to use strokes like this, like this, like this, and like that. So this is three. It means you are going to do what? Use three strokes or you are going to draw three strokes under it. So now let's go. Count it and let me hear. One, two, and three. So this is two. So how many strokes am I going to do under it? It means I'm going to do what? Two strokes. Let me see two. This is two. So let's go. One and two. Now we are going to put them together and see what we get. So now let's count it. You count it by crossing the strokes. So let's go. One, two, three, four, and five. So three plus two will give you what? Five. Very good, guys. Now let's do this one. We have three plus zero. Three plus zero. What am I going to write there? Okay, let me do my strokes. One, two, and three. 
Zero means she, nothing. So I will not do any stroke there. So I'm going to count this one. Let's go. One, two, and three. Well done, guys. So you write what here? Three here. So now, let me give you an example for you to try, at, to try your hands on it at home. Okay, so after this commercial break, we'll come and solve it for you. So look at it and write it nicely for me, and then you show working. Okay, so I'm giving you seven plus nine equals. So you show it, you show the workings nicely for me, and then you put them together by crossing it. You will be back right now, guys. Don't go away. Hello guys, you are all welcome back from the commercial break. I hope you were able to solve this. Don't worry, now we are coming to solve this and see if the answer you got at home and what you are coming to solve are the same. Okay, so now let's go on it and see if you can get the same answer comparing to my own and to your own at home. Now let's see, this is 7. So it means how many strokes are we going to write there? Let me hear you. How many strokes? Seven. Very good. So let's do seven strokes there. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So this is nine. Nine. How many strokes are we going to do? Nine. Good guy. So now let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and nine now we are going to put them together by crossing them so let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen so seven plus nine will give us the results 16. Were you able to do it at home? You did get the same answer as my own. If you did, then clap for yourself and blow me a kiss. Mwah! You did very well. So 7 plus 9 will give us what? 16. So guys, this is where we bring our lesson to an end.